everyone. Uh, today I will have just a short uh, stream. I wanted to end um, Veronaville on some <laughs> um, positive note, I hope. Um, that's because I I will um, I will not be able to stream uh, after this week, so uh, I wanted to help uh, help. <laughs> I wanted to thank everyone for uh, helping me. Um, um, like not reach our all like affiliate goals and everything, but I. Uh, I, I accomplished everything besides the, the follower number, so I think it's really good um, for me. And uh, today we are just going to finish the Summer Dream rotation. Uh, so all the orphans will age up tomorrow. I think they will have an awesome birthday party. Uh, well, <laughs> five children will have to age up. Um, I played them for a little while, uh, for like not even a full day, but I sent the children or, or the orphaned children to school and they lost the grade <laughs> to my uh, displeasure. Um, I hope if I send them tomorrow that they will all get A+. Plus. But um, Titania is an Oberon's uh, actual uh, adopted child lovely is aging up right now from toddler into a child so i thought <laughs> I, I would at least um have this uh, as part of my uh, stream as well um even though it will be at the very beginning so probably not a lot of people are here yet but anyway she will age up right now <laughs> and i will give her some sort of a makeover and uh, i suppose a pirate outfit is okay I, I might keep her in that if she feels like that's what she wants to wear um a pirate outfit i believe one of the boys in one of the other households uh they wear uh, a pirate outfit so i feel like that's um an okay outfit for Veronaville. Um, let me see what else I can. Also, let me see if I can see everything on my phone. But, but I think I can. Yes. Yeah, so everything is fine. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, every day I, I will just leave her uh, be like that. Um. But I might want to give her uh, some different formal outfit. Uh, so she seems to like green. Um, um, so I could give her, well, that's, that's, that's blue. So I guess just maybe something like that. Um, And I will also give her a matching, um, a matching like ballet uh, tutu. Um, I guess a blue one is okay. Uh, that's cute, but that's not what she's wearing. I think so. Let's let's give her this. Uh, all right, so this is um, this is the adopted child of Oberon and Titania. She looks very nice. I I'm not sure uh, who she looks like exactly. Um, I mean, it must be some sort of combination of townies in Veronaville. To be honest, I'm not that familiar with Veronaville townies. Uh, I'm more familiar with Pleasant View townies since they are everywhere. <laughs> uh, but um, but that's hair. Now, I think I might make her sleep in the same bedroom as uh, her older sister, Bottom. But the summer dreams have no money right now. 
and I, I will be addressing this. Um, so I prepared a tiny little space here for probably Titania to sell uh, the pottery she and the children made. Um, and I think she will open her store uh, at a totally unrealistic hour, uh, but, but we will see. Uh, right now she's helping one of the orphans, uh, Scott, to do homework because he wants to learn how to do homework and they all have pretty low aspirations. They are not in red, but um, they are in pretty bad aspirations. Okay, so he learned. Uh, and I know uh, Oscar, right? His name? Orlando, not Oscar. I know it was an O name. He also wanted to learn. So maybe I will have him learn as well. Uh, just very quickly, if I if I can, it, it doesn't even matter if he's doing his homework or someone else's. I just want them to get some wants fulfilled <laughs> in, in one way or another. Uh, so I thought that was that was a pretty good want to fulfill. It's a pretty uh, high score. Um, high point want since titania is pretty busy right now i could have oberon start the business actually i want to start it on the same day because i already placed down some things and i think objects are get de de depreciated they depreciate or yeah, their value is lowered on the next day What's going on here? Oh, right. Uh, I wanted uh, Bottom to pay the bills, but I don't think they can pay uh, all the bills <laughs> because they don't have enough money. Uh, the children who, uh, who are not sleeping are trying to help me. Uh, where did Carla go? Oh, she's trying to go to bed. Okay, they already talked. They wanted to talk about hobby, so they did. Or maybe they didn't. I guess they did, or they won't re-roll, because I know that's what I told them to do, but if they're so uh, tired, they can just go to sleep. Let's just go to sleep, girls. <laughs> uh, let me... Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so I think everyone is doing what I wanted them to do. Uh, you want to clean up. You want to make a friend as well, but you can just head to bed right now. Uh, let's have Oberon open the business. So this will be just a small home business. We will do business, start home business. Um, so, I know these sims are on a terrible schedule, you, you don't have to tell me, <laughs> um, but, I mean, they're supposed to be fairies of some sort, so let's just pretend they don't need a lot of sleep or something, and we will start uh, a business. And let me... Uh, yeah, so the problem with the, it's not a problem, but you can't put plates on these shelves, I think. At least I don't see a way to do that. So I will only place uh, vases here on the shelves. Uh, Titania has a couple, and I think one of the children has some in the inventory as well. Yeah, they have, they have a couple of them. Uh, just because I'm opening a business, I will put these in, I suppose, Oberon's um, inventory because he is the business owner right now. For the plates, I don't think I will be really restocking them. I will just place them on the walls again, probably. Uh, but yeah, we have opened the business. Uh, let's see if someone comes at this 
ungodly hour um knowing seems that, that they will just disappear all right so that didn't fulfill the want that's fine just go to sleep uh titania is also a bit hungry so she can eat and bottom a uh, bottom used this table even though i thought i placed oh so <laughs> she placed one pile of bills on the actual <laughs> uh shelf here but not the other so unfortunately they cannot afford to pay both bills but they can pay one of them um uh, that's what i will do i would also like her to recycle a little bit just, just help me out so that customers won't be angry <laughs> and uh, are all the children sleeping now almost all of them uh, which is fine uh rebecca can go and eat can you sleep in this bed instead please or is it taken i don't know i guess if it's taken just sleep in nobody's bed yet so uh so yeah let's let's see how the business will go if anyone will come at all uh they probably will uh this teenager here is someone uh that pack brought home uh has no friend because you know you know popularity sims they will bring friends home and they will want to make friends with them everything like that um so yeah they don't have enough money to pay the bills right now i don't want to just cheat the money all the time <laughs> uh to to buy the stuff for the orphanage so uh, that's why they're opening the little business on the side of the orphanage that they have so let's see uh, normally a business yeah it starts as open so you can close it but i'm not sure if it kicked in that that the business is open can't really see in the sims yet i can just close it and open it again let's see it it shouldn't be too late because sims can walk around until like two Actually, I see Antonio Monti here, and oh god, that's my fault. <laughs> uh, that's my fault. I I forgot to set things on sale. Uh, let's just set everything as average. Uh, I I know I would forget something, so so these table uh, tables, these plates. Okay, they're still worth forty one, even though they have been just out for a little while so that's good i guess we can sell everything really that's around uh, all the plates made by the children uh, we have a few i i place them on the walls so they are uh, like more better showcased um hope there will be no routing errors here um okay let's see let's see if they will start buying now it was my bad <laughs> i always forget to either buy the open close sign or set something for sale um, just something i forget to do um the bottom you can also go to sleep uh titania did you eat i think you ate something but you're still hungry so why not um, eat more all right oberon um 
let me see is anyone uh, who could be a customer going by I think so you look like a customer see if you need help sales okay we can just basic sale all right and someone else is coming by okay so the business is working that's good uh titania you can just take care of yourself uh, i suppose tonight oberon can take care of the business because because he's feeling good and apparently Oberon has chemistry with this uh, Tawny. So let's do a little bit of a business. That's interesting. So all townies that came here are wearing like this i think base game formal wear uh this townie here as well is this just how townies <laughs> look like in veronaville or did i somehow force a formal wear on them i'm not sure hello bobo are you <laughs> you're uh, you're awake already thank you for coming by um bobo uh, so what I said before, because I I don't think anyone even was here. So what I said before, oops, because I, oops, I, oops. I, I don't want to be listening to myself. Um, I wanted to open my dashboard. Sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I shouldn't be speaking double now, hopefully. Uh, so, um, good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you, Bobo. What I was saying earlier is uh, it might be my last stream for now because I probably will not be able to stream after after this week for sure for now. So I just wanted to thank everyone for um, watching me play. And um uh, I also wanted to say that uh, I was able to get all those little affiliate milestones besides the follower one, but I'm very thankful for uh, I'm very thankful for um, I'm very f thankful to everyone who <laughs> uh, who came by and um, watched my stream. Uh, I uh, really appreciate. Uh, oh no, I think she might throw her bag. I think she might throw her bag. I hope not. Uh, so that's because I just won't be able to stream until literally like next year. <laughs> uh, because I don't think I will be able to stream in December. But... Uh, if anyone wants to, I, I will still have my streams up on the YouTube channel, uh, like I said before. And, and Pac woke up. Um, Pac, uh, do you want to help me uh, run the business? <laughs> Maybe. Is everyone else sleeping? I think so. Let me see yeah all right and okay she didn't throw her bag we actually earned some money which is good that's that's good uh, so uh what i did today at the very beginning is the little uh lovely girl uh aged up from toddler into a child at the very beginning of the round um yeah and uh, we opened the business so the business sells what titania and the orphan children made so the little plates that were showcased everywhere on the walls 
uh, and uh, there were a few vases as well uh, so the vases are here and uh, I'm just restocking the plates manually for now uh, okay, what's the problem there, Puck? Why can you not interact with this customer? Is there no space or...? Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that's the activity table. Probably. Oh, Hal is coming by. Hal Cap, who has just turned from child into a teen, I believe, while we were playing Miranda. Miranda's family. Uh, okay. Uh, why don't you? Try to sell to, uh, to Hal then. And we have business rank one. All right. Uh, let's get a perk. Um. So I think we could get either. Assess mood or notable reputation. And I feel like um, the Summer Dreams have a very good reputation in Veronaville to begin with, so maybe the mood one. Why not? Uh, what is he selling? Uh, and why I can't stream? Um, so I can't stream because um, I will basically be in a different place and uh, I don't think um, I, my computer and internet setup would, um, would handle streaming at all in the other place. So that's why. And uh, what we're selling is uh, we're selling uh, the children's um, pottery from the modded uh, Potter's Apprentice uh, pottery table by Nick Snivis. Uh, this is a modded pottery station. It's basically a smaller version of uh, the Max's pottery wheel from Free Time, but it was. Uh, made for children so the orphaned children uh during <clears throat> the last stream the, the latest stream the previous stream they were uh creating some pottery uh so they had to start with the plates and then they moved on to the uh to the to the jars the uh vases these things uh, Titania uh, is quite interested in... Oh no! <laughs> They're losing stars. But Titania's one true hobby is uh, hobby is arts and crafts. I'm not sure if it's always her one true hobby. Um, maybe it is. But she is a, a creative sim. Uh, and so she was teaching children uh, pottery. And she wants to get a silver badge. Uh, and uh, a lot of the towny orphan children uh, helped her. I mean, they, they were learning how to do pottery while she was, uh, quote unquote, <laughs> guiding them. I mean, she really wasn't. Uh, Titania was just showing them how to uh, make pottery and they were trying to, let's say, imitate. <laughs> Uh, her pottery so that's what we are selling here um basically uh just pottery P 
put those orphans to work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, this was supposed to be like a like a school sale. I was talking a little bit about it uh, when uh, Excited Cupcake was here. Uh, she said that uh, it would probably not work in a real life orphanage. And I mean, I, I agree, but it's also like a boarding school. So uh, I, I, I think in the movies, at least, it's oftentimes a, a theme that there is like a sale where children are selling um i think it's usually like cookies they they bake and we could also do that it's just the kids didn't uh, bake that many cookies so i decided they would do the uh, pottery for now um so f for now that's that's what it is uh, is there any like confused customer anywhere? Oh, Romeo came here. So Romeo, I made Romeo buy, by the way, and I made Pac buy, and they have two chemistry bolts. Uh, that's more than Pac has with Miranda or with Hermia. Um, and while Pac being a popularity sim, he really doesn't care that much about flirting. I feel like at some point Romeo might want to um, hit on Pac. Um, even though, you know, Pac, I feel like, is more into maybe friendship. But I feel like um, Romeo might be more interested in pursuing him. So we got to business uh, rank two as well. Um, so let's just get this tree going. And where is Romeo going? Is he going to be like confused what to do? Oh, Jesus, these, <laughs> these children are not having fun. Oh, wait, I think everyone just woke up or something because Romeo is actually visiting and he rang a bell. I don't know why this happens in my game, but sometimes uh, friends come over in the middle of the night. It happened um, maybe not during my first stream, but like the second stream. And everyone woke up because uh, one of the uh, neighbors decided to visit. Actually, this might not be the case now because they just woke up i think that they just had full energy it was just a coincidence <laughs> okay okay then it's it's not so bad it's not so bad I, I thought it was it was the same situation again but it's not uh but it happened before for uh, for some reason uh, one of the neighbors would come over and ring a bell in the middle of the night but that's not the case now so uh this uh, child is really having no fun uh scott uh, i know that that's because he was uh he was doing homework earlier so i mean that's not surprising why don't they all have a little bit of fun and do some drawing But yeah, what's, what's going on with Romeo here? Let's see. What's going on? Can Romeo not, not find where he's supposed to go or what is going on? What is it, Romeo? What, what, what's your problem? Oh, you, you found your way to the store? You just had to go upstairs. Oh, I see. Oberon, that's not how you serve customers. You you can't just go to the to the to take a bath in the middle of your uh, shift. And Oberon has a day off today. Uh, that's 
that's even more reason to to have him help with the business right now um oh and juliet came here as well oh it's romeo and juliet that came <laughs> That's so cool. And of course, there's also Hal Cap. So um, that's that's nice when, <laughs> even though there are so many townies, because um, it's a version with townies, uh, it's the playables that came. And it's Romeo and Juliet and Hal Cap and everyone. I love that. I love that they, they all came. Sorry for that, to, to visit. It's, it's the whole Veronaville gang. They, they all came here to visit. I really like that. Uh, all right, so uh, Pac will have to go to uh, school soon. I will just send them all to school today. Uh... Uh, bottom you might want to eat I want them to be in a good mood so they will bring some good grades I think everyone but Pac did their homework which is okay Pac doesn't want to do well at school right now I just hope the children will be fine uh, so yeah bottom you can eat uh, Rebecca you can sorry Carla you can also eat Where's Rebecca? Rebecca is this one, yeah. You can also eat. Uh, you're sleeping right now. And Catherine, you can also eat. Everyone can eat, in fact. Everyone just eat. Just eat a proper breakfast. Uh, you're congratulating. Please sell to Juliet instead. All right. All right, I think I will close the business relatively soon, but not yet. Uh, Pack, could you restock? Uh, Rebecca. Please eat. Please eat. Uh, please eat. Your name is Orlando. Yes. And Scott, please eat. Everyone eat before you go to school so you're in good moods, even if your aspiration is not perfect. Uh, what is going on? Oh, uh, and Benedict Monty came. Uh, so children sometimes come to businesses. Um, in my experience, they come here more often when you have other children at home. So I guess they come more often to home businesses than to community lot businesses so pack before you go to school why don't you sell something to benedict as well and the girls are eating together well catherine decided to do ballet exercises uh, i suppose you could go to school and everyone has to go to school. Just go to school if you're feeling good. Please, everyone, don't be late and go to school. So you can get a good grade because you want to get a grade. Titania wants to do some pottery, so why not? She wants to make pottery. All right, Puck. 
you also just walk to school. Uh, Titania and Oberon will manage to run the business without you, don't worry. Don't worry about it, let me just send the children to school so I can focus on the business. Um, if you didn't see her before, this is her, uh, Lovely, the adopted child of Titania and Oberon. She is not like just a towny orphan from Veronaville. She's, uh, she was a random baby that was um, adopted by Titania at the very beginning of this uh, Veronaville because Titania always wants to adopt. Oh, and we have a lot of customers. I'm afraid we will lose some stars right now, unfortunately, because, yep, it's taking too long. <laughs> Romeo is losing his temper. I think he will give up on his purchase. Yeah, Romeo just couldn't handle the weight. He is an impatient guy. Oh, wait, did he? I think he, I think he actually. I guess he just lost stars, but didn't throw his bags. Okay, maybe we can somehow serve him before he leaves. But yeah, it's pretty difficult to serve four customers when you don't have the bronze talent badge yet. And they are losing stars really fast. Okay, and that's just a the townie. They are unhappy, but they are buying stuff. So, okay. Titania, why are you lounging here? Well, I guess because you finished. Uh, what you were told to do. Okay, how much do we need? I think we have enough to pay the bills now. But, but new bills are coming, possibly. Let's pay these. Let's pay these. Because we can. So let's pay them. And I might have to close the business for now. But it went very well. Uh, I am glad Romeo didn't <laughs> throw the bag. Because he was losing his temper. But they were able to uh, pay their bills without me cheating, at least. So... That's good. Oh, right. Let me check. Oh, there is one customer waiting. Titania, please uh, get them. Get them to check out when you can. Oberon has been running this business at night and his needs are terrible. So I would like you to help a bit. Are you okay, Oberon? It's good you don't have work today. Today we're throwing a party for the children as soon as they come home, I think. Oh no, Oberon, 
don't sleep on your food. I will send you to bed, okay? Just don't do that. All right. So, Titania is helping restock while Oberon is uh, eating. I'm going to sleep soon. Yeah, so that's why I am not restocking the plates because I don't have. I think I don't have the exact same ones or something. Um, so, I will just have to place them down like this and set them for sale again uh, or maybe they were just not in Oberon's inventory I'm not sure um, but yeah it's a pottery store uh, so something you might want to open for some pre-made sims and uh the Dorada Valley there is uh, Natasha Una right so she she starts with a pottery store um well no she doesn't have a store but she starts with like a pottery badge so you might want to open something like this for her uh pack and bottom are coming back home but only pack works today so uh, bottom could work on her homework since she wants to but no she actually can't because her fun is too bad um okay well why don't you play red hands with pack as this tradition um why not Oh, the problem is that Puck is going to go upstairs to place his homework there anyway. Because he already has one pile. So I can't just stop him from doing that, unfortunately. All right. Why don't you spend some time with your sister? Help her feel better. So, unfortunately, Bottom will miss the birthdays of the orphans. Oh no! I didn't send one of the children to school. That's my bad, but it's too late now. What was he doing though? I don't know what he was doing. I, I'm so sorry. I totally lost uh, sight of him. I thought I said ev. <laughs> I thought I sent everyone to school, but I didn't. What What was he doing? I didn't see him anywhere. I guess he was, he was not sleeping because his energy is low. <sighs> oh well, what can I do? All right, bottom. Do your homework, I suppose. Just do your homework. I that was totally my fault. I didn't notice. I didn't send one of the children to school. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I sent all of them, but I didn't. So, yeah. All right. Orando got 200 at school from playing drums. Uh, Alright, and let's... Let me just wait till the children come back home and I will throw the party for them. Um, okay, looks like they are coming back home. Uh, Orlando. Did you get an A plus? You got an A plus and you're in a great mood. 
Catherine, you also got an A plus. You want to grow up well. And Rebecca, you also got an A plus. That's great. And this is our um, lovely summer dream. So this is the newborn or fun. She just started going to school, so she only has a C plus. That's fine. Um, and Carla also has an A plus. All right, so they are all in at least gold aspiration, but it was my fault. I didn't send Scott to work. I don't know how this happened, and I don't know what he was doing. I don't know. I just overlooked him. Titania is reading the newspaper. Um, it's interesting. She just decided to read. J just read, not not anything in particular, like a specific section. She's just reading. Okay, but let's prepare this place for a little birthday party. Uh, by just moving the chairs. Yes, that's what I do in this house. I just move chairs. That, that, that's what I do. Um, I don't know. Where can I move the chair? Here. And let's uh, spend all our money on birthday cakes. I guess. So, we will have two cakes at once and then I guess I will replace them with more cakes uh, where is it found in this house here I moved it already and uh, let's uh, throw a party birthday party And we will invite, uh, well, I suppose we could invite some teenagers since these children will be becoming teenagers. So, uh, what else? I guess I can invite children too. I'm not sure if they will come. We don't have the best relationship with them. Um, and maybe, you know, the heads of the families, like consort, um, Patrizio, and Isabella. I don't know if it's a good idea or not to invite Kent. I know a lot of people make him gay, but Titania has a crush on him. I don't know. Let's just hope someone comes. Um, <laughs> they are not having a good time. That's fine. Uh, Carla and Orlando... You can age up first, I suppose, because you're already here. Um, yeah, you can just eat something. Bottom. Everyone, you can, everyone can come here. Um, everyone is aging up. Um, You're not in the mood to do what? I didn't tell you to do anything. You're not in the mood to do your autonomous action of baking muffins. Well, don't blame me for that. Uh, uh, yeah, but, but he couldn't walk to work, <laughs> to school anymore because it was too late. Unfortunately. It was already like after 1 p.m. when I realized that I didn't send him. And, uh, well, that was just too late. <laughs> Let, let's say yeah. Uh Do I have cutscenes? I feel like this will be too many cutscenes if I enable them, but let's see. 
So let's start with Carla. Let me just say before before anything happens. He didn't lose a grade, no, because I have a no school mod. Um, I can only send my children to to school to. Uh, I can send them to school, but I have to direct them to walk. Uh, because I often have like a uh, school like in the house. What happened? You didn't want a party? I think these two, the, the two boys, Orlando and Scott, didn't want the party because they just got the negative. Which is a bit sad. Um, but not everyone likes parties. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, they are shy, that's why. They are both shy. The, the boys were shy, so... Let's see if we get a cutscene for Carla. I turned it on. Okay, so we will get like five age up cutscenes today. That's a nice breath. And let's see what random aspirations she got. I have a mod. Uh, I have a mod so that. Uh, Children who age up to teenagers get a random aspiration, and she got romance. Bubba would hate this mod, I feel like. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, he didn't lose a grade. Uh, my children don't lose grades for not going to school, uh, because I have the no, no school mod. Um, let's see Orlando age up now. Oh god. Someone is trying to eat the cake. So I can't move it. Yeah, I can't move it. Okay, let's let's just wait. Let's wait. Let's see Orlando's age up now. So these are all uh the starting Veronaville towny children. So you can see how they look when they age up. This is Carla. Uh who just aged up. She is a romance sim in my game because that's what the random mod uh, assigned her with. And now we will see Orlando. Okay, so Orlando has like a very typical, uh, to me, like a typical towny face. I mean, it's not an ugly face or anything. I just for some reason, I have a lot of townies with it in my like, custom hoods. It's like a, I don't know. That's my typical towny face. Okay, pack came back. Uh, did you get promoted or something? Or do I not know yet? Oh, Pac got promoted. He's now a sailor. Okay. So Pac managed to uh, max out his career after he got fired from his previous career. He got fired from the slacker career, but now he reached the top of the... Um, Oceanography career, which I have replaced. Um, all right. And uh, Orlando was uh, uh, randomized to be a popularity sim. So this will be a shy popularity sim. I don't mind. What I mind is I can't move these cakes. Uh, uh, what if I reset? Okay, I can reset. Can I move this? Can I put this somewhere? 
now okay i just have to delete them i guess just just delete them i can't okay i can't delete this one i'll just place it there and let's get two more cakes at least this is not the sims 4 where they can can just randomly decide to eat a cake. Oh no! I think everyone else is aging up as well. I was too late. I uh, I don't have any mod to stop aging at 6 p.m. So everyone is just aging up right now. This is Rebecca. This is Catherine who is not aged up yet but she will age up really soon uh this is Orlan scott sorry scott orlando is this one they both brunettes and i can't tell the difference between them let's see what aspirations they got so they haven't got any yet i'm waiting for the mod to assign them some what did they get so Rebecca here, she got fortune aspiration. She is an Aries, so normally in your game it would probably be popularity, I think. Uh, Catherine didn't get her yet, her aspiration yet. Uh, Scott here is extremely surprised to see his <laughs> uh, to see other orphans age up. Uh, he is a Virgo. Uh, which is normally knowledge, I think, or maybe family, I think knowledge. And he got fortune as well. And Catherine, what are you? What kind of a sim? Also a fortune. So that's interesting. Um, so yeah, this mod totally randomizes uh, aspirations. It's not like it, it uh, makes... Uh, you know, Aries into popularity, Leo into romance or whatever. Uh, it randomized them. So three Sims got fortune, one Sim got romance and one got popularity. And earlier in like the previous episode, I was aging up uh, bottom and she got knowledge. So she's a knowledge Leo. Uh, Carla, who is not having a good time, uh, is a romance Scorpio. Orlando is a popularity Cancer. He's also not having a good time. Uh, Catherine is a fortune Leo. Rebecca is a fortune Aries. And uh, Scott is a Virgo, also Fortune. Okay, so they all aged up. <laughs> uh, all the children have aged up. And I think I will just make them into townies for now. Because they are townies, I just wanted them to spend their child years in a good environment I, I know it could be anticlimactic for some people to, to do that but um, that was sort of my idea to have them um, live here while they are children and then they can go their own separate ways I also didn't want them to all age up um so i didn't do that i will just put them in some like regular uh like maybe school uniforms because i i have a feeling that uh, a lot of uh, teenagers in veronaville will bring them home with them so maybe a uniform would make a lot of sense for them she can keep the swimwear uh, for formal. 
I mean, I, they don't necessarily need like uh, some great outfit, but I will uh, put them in uh, like the ballerina outfits that they liked as children. I, I, I want to imagine that they enjoyed dancing ballet while they were here so they can they can keep that oh they can oh yeah that's the gym clothes yeah. oh what am i thinking and some sort of an outerwear let's see so i might go for some one of my the custom historical outfits maybe it doesn't really matter which one i will I will give her this one. If Juliet sees her, she's going to be annoyed because that's Juliet's outfit. Um, all right, let's do the same for Catherine now. And for Carla as well. After that. So every day I will do the same thing. She will get a... Where is the uh, uniform? It's a base game outfit, so it should be at the very end. And I might have like a picture for them, so I can't really pose them. It's a problem. Didn't get like my pose boxes, but I could take a picture of them just to commemorate. Uh, okay, I will just choose the same outfit for her but different color. Um, oh, I didn't buy it. Well, oops. No, I did. What am I saying? Mm. And the last girl, Carla, the same thing here. I will also place her in, put her in a uniform. And um, I already bought all these, so let's just buy something so I can choose really quick. And this one for her. And also a matching outfit. The orange one. All right. <laughs> so the girls are all gassied up. And the boys. I might just keep them in what they are wearing, I guess. Do the boys get the option to wear the uniform as well? As an everyday, they should be able to, right? Um, not sure. I was able to pick it for girls, so hmm, it doesn't seem possible. So let's just put them in these, I suppose, just so they have something. And let me also check uh, if... Um, if I have, uh, yeah, there are the vanilla ones. I can also um, have them wear the ballet outfits just because they spend a lot of time doing uh, ballet here, all of them. I think um, Orlando's outfit is already something I wanted to go for, so he can stay with that. Um, 
I will just give him a ballet outfit. Just so he has one. Alright. <laughs> Alright, everyone is in a terrible mood now. <laughs> But I would like them all to maybe like sit down together. Uh, Carla and Catherine, can you sit down? And uh, Rebecca as well, can you uh, stand here? So I can see all of you. I, I will just max you all out just because I, I want to see all of them. I want to see all of them. I also want to turn off autonomy just for a second. So they're not doing anything. All right. Uh, can you stand here? So, these are all the Veronaville orphans. All the children Veronaville starts with, but they are teenagers now. That's what they look like. Rebecca, Carla, Catherine, and the boys Orlando and Scott, I never know which one is which. I think Orlando is the this one. And there's a Scott, was I right? Yes. So Orlando has this towny face. For, for me at least that's like a towny face. And that's what they look like. And they have graduated from the orphanage and school. <laughs> And I'm going to turn them into townies. I'm sorry. So Scott was able to get the pottery badge. And Rebecca also got her pottery badge. So did Catherine. And Scott also did. So only Carla. Carla didn't get the pottery badge. Everyone else did. It's a bit sad. They got a lot of creativity somebody and a little bit of cooking while they were here yep so that, that's 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 just what they did and i will now turn them into townies and i will let them do whatever they want with their lives let me see the chat uh right you have a poppy day uh, I know uh, Great Britain has a uh, poppy day today. Um, will my game create new kids? No, it will not. Uh, I have no towny uh, region. Uh, I normally have no townies at all in my actual game and my actual hood. Uh, in this uh, Veronaville, I only have them because I got a clean template with scripted events and with townies. Uh, that's why they are here. But other than that, I have like all the, you know, uh, empty templates. I have, uh, so I, I don't get the Pleasant View townies in every hood anymore. And I have no town near region. I have all the, uh, well, no towny mods and no social group mods for uh, apartment life. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, in, in this, I, I just had them because they are pre made. How do I even do that? I, I never turned my sims into townies, but I know you can do it with this. Let me see. Um, I think you can do it. Can you not? Uh, what? It's not that for sure. Is it not family? Yeah, it is. Uh, so it's family. Make me a townie. 
uh, family, make me a family, family, make me a townie, and make me a townie, and, and make me a townie. <laughs> Yeah, so they have graduated. I, I actually forgot to put them all in a workout outfit, but they were all very happy about dancing uh, in the summer dreams, like school. Oh, and you can see children, Verona Ville children. Uh, that's Desdemona and uh, yeah, that's that's the Mona, Beatrice and Benedict. They are all dancing together. That's cute. So there's a Monty and a Cap dancing together. I see. Let me let me see the chat again. <laughs> bye bye, Tauntis. <laughs> um. Uh. So. I started talking about Remembrance Day and then I uh, I stopped talking about it. But, um, well, we observe it, but we have a different name for it. And I think it's more than just my country, but I'm not sure. But here it's Independence Day. I know not all co countries observe it, though. Not, not every European country observes it. Are you kidding me? They're complaining at me during a party? Why is that? Because there is a dirty floor in the bathroom? Are you kidding me, game? Like, Game, you're kidding me right now. This is a birthday party. You didn't come here to complain at me. You came here to spend time with me. Um, let's spend some time with our friends. Uh, Patrizio. You're not our friend. Who is uh, who is Oberon's friend? Kent. Uh, let's uh, talk to Kent. And uh, Titania, you can uh, talk to uh, Patricio. And maybe consort. So, yeah, that's one of the things that annoys me and a lot of people about... Um, about home businesses so basically well when it when it's a party it doesn't happen but if you have just uh, some walk bys walking by uh, and you want to ask them to come in uh, to visit you they will leave the lot but even when it's a party, they will complain at you, even though the business is closed right now. Yeah, it's, it's closed, but they are complaining that there is some, there is something dirty in the house and they just complain about it. They will just keep complaining. It is just not very nice of them to do. And yeah, everyone is just complaining and destroying the relationship. I will just... I will just... Um, ignore them right now. And... I don't know. The family can... Well, they can help me a bit clean this place up, but it's not very nice of guests to just keep complaining. So I will just ignore this. Maybe you don't know better Sims, but you should not just keep complaining at me. 
You should just leave me alone. Because all the good relations uh, the summer dreams have with all the other families in Veronaville, uh, this is now going to all be negatively affected because I opened a business for them and uh, something is um, dirty here, I think. Oh, what happened there? Bobo. Bobo, you're sending some zeros there in chat. I'm not sure if something happened. Are you okay, Bobo? Anyway, I will probably end the, the stream soon. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I appreciate uh, everyone for uh, coming by to my streams. Uh, and uh, I hope <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my uh, Veronaville. I know it was uh, very short, but uh, I think we did something interesting. So the summer dreams are the uh, had the orphanage uh, and school, um, and uh, uh, the Montes had a restaurant. And the fa uh, party was not bad. That's great. Um, so, so yeah, the Mondays had a restaurant. I didn't play that much with them, but um, it was a fun idea to have a restaurant. And this family had an orphanage. Uh, and now there are more teen townies in my Veronaville, so they could uh, possibly someday uh, find love with some pre-maids, maybe. Um, maybe with like Beatrice, Benedict, Desdemona with that generation, because they are the same generation, they all start as children. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone, and like I said, I will not be able to stream after this uh, week, so this is po po most likely my last stream uh, until like next year, so um, yeah, thank you everyone, uh, and uh, I will end my uh, stream now. Uh, but thank you everyone for coming by um, and I will raid someone uh, who is playing The Sims 2 probably. Let me check who is even online. I'm not sure if anyone is, uh, but let's, let's see who is, if anyone. And uh, my Sims can just keep taking care of the garden. Uh, so... Oh, okay, so maybe I will not uh, raid uh, someone in the Sims 2 uh, category because nobody seems to really be streaming right now. Um in the Sims 2 category in English. So let's just raid uh, Chocolate City, I suppose. She is playing some new cozy game. Uh, so let's uh, all uh, come by her stream. And thank you again, everyone, for following me. Um, and see you <laughs> someday. Uh, and let's raid in five seconds, so bye-bye everyone!